Hey you guys, Caesar Salad here. Today I'm going to show you how to modify the Forge module to have these three selector buttons instead of the sel swiveling selector switch. I decided to modify it because uh, my fingers are like too big to fit the selector switch. So these three buttons made it a lot easier to navigate the screen as you can see. And this kind of all happened by accident too. I was actually trying to extend my selector switch by super gluing a little piece of plastic onto it, but what happened was the super glue got in between the circuit board and the plastic selector switch and made the switch like really stiff. So, in effort to fix it, I just decided to grab some momentary switches from around the house and I was able to fix it. So, let me show you how to get this done. So to get started, you're going to either want to desolder the four pins coming from your screen or clip them, which is what I did. After clipping them, you'll see this, and all you have to do is get your exacto knife and then wedge it in between the metal plate and your selector switch, and slowly pry up on the metal plate, and you can even try and pry up the little clips on the side, but I didn't really have to. So then once you pry up the metal plate, you'll be able to take it off, and then Move your selector switch either way, either up or down, and it'll kind of pop out. And then you'll see the metal contacts beneath that. And what I did to make those contacts easier to solder to is I just uh, got a flush cutter and then cut away most of the plastic. So after using my multimeter to see which contacts had to touch in order to do certain commands, this is what I came up with. So the bottom middle contact has to touch the right contact in the bottom middle I had as a red wire and the right contact is always brown and for an up click the bottom left one which I made a brown wire because it's the only wire I had has to connect to the right contact and for an up click we have to connect the bottom right to the right contact and that bottom right wire was a yellow wire so here's your your circuit board after taking off the screen you have your diversity your aminal chip and another IC chip and your capacitor and here's your selector switch and take note that it's rotated 90 degrees in the in the image that I drew so don't let that throw you off and here's a little schematic if you want to you can pause it just so you can take note of what it is so there's that right surface the right contact which is that brown wire which pretty much grounds all of those switches out so all those switches are going to have that common ground of the brown wire which is that right part of the switch and then all the other wires here are going to have their separate yellow red and brown connections which corresponds to the right click up click and down click so now you're going to want to pre-tin each of those contacts you don't really have to do the contacts that are touching the circuit board you could actually do the whole piece of metal that's inside the switch but be careful not to bridge any connections so here I am pretending the wires so here I've rotated the board to help you guys better see how this little switch looks like in my drawings and right here I'm soldering on that brown grounding wire that's on the right side that all the switches ground onto don't confuse that for the bottom left contact. So that wire connects to that right side, the rightmost contact on the upper part. And there is a left contact, but I don't really have any use for it. I don't think it connects to anything. It's not really used in the selector switch. I don't think so. And here I am attaching the yellow wire. So that's going to be connected to our down click. And here we are soldering our red wire, which is going to solder to one side of our clicking action button. And here's our other brown wire, which is not the grounding wire. This is going to be connected to one side of our up click. So one final tugging test, make sure all the connections are good. So you guys are probably wondering why I connected my screen with wires. I just did it so I could easily access the part that's under the LCD where the selector switch is without having to constantly solder and unsolder the pin headers in case my wiring didn't work. So that's why I used wires. 
So here's our momentary switch assembly, which I made just by super gluing some momentary switches I found around the house onto a piece of plastic that I cut out with my Dremel. And then this little rectangle will later get glued into my module. So now I'm going to insulate all of our contacts by just putting a thin layer of hot glue on the top just so it doesn't touch the top of the screen or the bottom part of the screen that would contact the circuit board. So this is just a just a preventative measure, make sure we don't short out anything. So now I'm going to mount the button assembly to the right side of our LaForge just simply using hot glue. So we're just going to put a bead of hot glue on the bottom of that assembly and just attach it to our module and it's as easy as that. So now we're going to solder each of the wires to their respective switch. So I'm not sure if you can tell here but that bottom switch I had to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees just so it would those contacts wouldn't interfere with that capacitor right there. So right here I'm attaching the yellow wire which is if you refer to the beginning of the video where I showed you the schematic is our down click. So right here I'm soldering our yellow wire to the right side of the switch. Now right here I'm soldering our red wire which is our clicking action to our center button. So I'm gonna solder that on to the right side of the center button. I don't think it matters which side you solder to but I just like to keep it consistent throughout the whole thing. So I just soldered all the I'm gonna call them the signal wires even though I don't think they're signals. I'm gonna solder all those to the right side of the switch and then that brown ground wire is gonna be on the left side of every switch. So now I'm going to connect the brown wire from the lower left contact of our selector switch to our right contact of our up click. So if you ever need to, just go back in the video and then look at the schematic I put there just so you don't confuse the two brown wires because this is the brown wire coming from our lower left contact of the selector switch. So now I'm just going to give the wires one last tug and then get them all comfy in here just to make sure they sit flat on the board so the screen has enough space to just lay down flat. So now we're going to solder the ground pin to the other contact on the bottom click switch. So here's I'm showing you it's all the same pin that they're all grounding out to. So that's the wire we're soldering. It's a common ground between all the switches. So we're going to solder many jumpers between each switch, which is what I'm doing here. So right here we have bent the ground pin from the bottom click button towards the ground pin of the center click button. So we're just stripping that here and then we're going to tin it and then solder it. So right here we are tinning the jumper from the ground from the bottom click to the regular click button. And now here we are about to solder it. We want to tin the ground pin for the middle button. And then we solder the jumper to that pin on the button. So now we're going to solder our last ground wire which goes from the ground of the center button to the ground of the up click button. So that's that what brown wire I'm putting down right now and then I'm going to cut it down to size and then do the last solder joint and then we're all done. So now we have installed the module into our goggles. So now I'm going to power on my goggles just to make sure we're still getting power to the screen and everything and also of course to test out the buttons before we per permanently install our screen. Just gonna check and make sure that all the buttons are working. So the center button selects, the button's going up, 
discount button is going down, so all seems to be looking good. So all you have to do is just power it off and then we'll install the screen and then we're good to go. So here's our finished module. Screen looks good. Center button is working. Down button is working. Up button working. So all looking good. Looks pretty clean. I'm sure if I were to do it again, it would turn out cleaner. So everything seems to be in working order, and uh, I like this a little better than the, actually much better than the up and down swivel stitch. I mean, that switch is pretty good, but I have big fingers, and if I want to quickly change something, these buttons make it all easy, easily accessible. So if you guys like what you saw, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it. And uh, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.